was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could have Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we are making a pan pizza. So I've been wanting to make a pan pizza for a long time. I just didn't have the right pan, I guess, to make it. So luckily over Christmas, someone gifted me a pan. Thank you, Cash. Um, here it is. It's a uh, blue steel dude. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna test it out, see how it goes. So the recipe I'm using is from the Perfect Pan Pizza Book by Peter Reinhardt. And I'm very excited to try this. Uh, this is the classic Red Stripe pizza. And I think it's a Detroit style, but I don't know if it's Detroit, if it's not made in a high walled pan. So we're gonna call it Detroit Light. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also wasn't able to find any brick cheese because you're supposed to use brick cheese with this pizza, but I'm just using regular old mozzarella. So I figured I'd just kind of go through it, see what the process is like, and then uh, maybe next time make it like an authentic uh, Detroit style pizza. So <clears throat> it's a two-step process. So first you make the dough, let it sit overnight, and then the next day, you kind of dimple dimple the dough, stretch it out in the pan. Uh, it's a little more involved than just making a New York style pizza. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I'm really excited, like I said. So let's just get to it. So here are the ingredients for the pizza dough. So you have four and a third cup of flour, two tablespoons of olive oil, one and three quarters teaspoon of salt, one and one quarter teaspoon of yeast, and then two cups of cold water. So I'm not sure if this actually is, if I did something wrong, but I'm supposed to let it rest for another, for about five minutes and then mix it again for another 30 to 60 seconds. So I guess let's just let it rest and then uh, I'll see what it's uh, like after the 30 to sec 60 second mix <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the dough has been resting for about five minutes. Uh, I'm gonna uh, make it, wow, I was gonna say, I'm gonna make it go for another 30 to 60, okay. I'm gonna let it uh, mix for another 30 to 60 seconds, and then we'll see what the consistency is like after that. Okay, so it's not, uh, fully mixed yet, so I'm not sure if I should just go ahead and continue to mix it. Um, I'm gonna see what uh, Mr. Reinhardt says in the book, in the recipe. So it should be soft, supple, and sticky to the touch, and offer a little, and offer a little resistance when pressed with a wet finger. Um, yeah, this is not fully mixed, so I'm going to help it out a little bit. So I'm gonna use my, my trusty spatula and I think I'm gonna scrape down the sides. Hopefully that will help it along. It's definitely sticky. So, uh, I feel like this is gonna be a nightmare to work with. But it's gonna be delicious, right? Delicious. What is that? Something in here, I'm not sure what it is. Like a chunk of something. Is that dough? Looks like potato. Isn't that weird? What is that? I don't know what that is. What is it? Oh, it's weird. Okay, I'm just gonna assume it's part of the dough. Okay, I'm gonna mix it for another minute and see where it ends up.
Okay, so I think it has fully incorporated. I think it's one consistent mat. I'm not sure if it's right. I don't know if it's something I did or, um, I don't know, it just looks weird. There's also these like weird yellow chunks in it. I don't know. Um, so we're going to, yeah, this is a weird yellow, you see that? I don't know what that is. I didn't add any weird chunks in it. Did I? Um, anyway, oh, they're still, it's still like not mixed all the way. Maybe it's not mixed. There's still dry flour in it. Okay. So we're gonna try this again. So let's kind of help it along. Uh, maybe I should just mix this by hand. All right. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, like at the bottom, it's like all flour. And these yellow chunks are really disturbing me. I don't know why. It just looks very strange. <sighs> now that I've worked up a sweat, so this is the part where it's gonna get a little messy because I have to oil my surface with some olive oil. I have to oil my hands and then I have to do this thing where I flatten it out and then fold it, fold it, flip it over and then let it sit for five minutes and I have to repeat that four times. So let me just do it. All right, I'm gonna make an oil slick over the surface. I'm gonna put on top of it. Oh, this is really sticky. I really hope I'm doing this right. Wow, this is so sticky. Um, okay, <laughs> I don't know if I did this right, but, so I'm supposed to like, oh, I didn't put oil on my hands. Wow, I am awesome. And I should have taken my my wedding ring off, but I did not because why? All right, I'm gonna get this nice and oily. It's gonna be a nightmare. All right, so I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit, and I'm supposed to do one of these things where I flip it over over in itself. Uh, I may have used a little too much oil. Uh, and then flip it back over onto its other side. Uh, and then make a ball, I guess. I feel like I used too much oil, but anyway. All right, and then I'm supposed to cover it with a bowl, which I usually use this cake topper to cover stuff. Yeah, and then I let it rest for two to five minutes. So I'm gonna do that three more times over the course of 15, 20 minutes or something like that. And then I'll be back to uh, cover it up. Okay, so I've gone through the four phases of stretching and folding. And the next thing I need to do is take this bowl, oil it up, um, to avoid sticking, I'm assuming. And then take this guy, put it in the bowl, and then I'm going to put some foil or um, plastic wrap over it. Uh, you're supposed to keep it in the fridge for 12 to 72 hours. And then uh, the next step is to actually pan it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So stay tuned for part two. 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 If I can get the plastic wrap off the roll. Can I, ladies and gentlemen? It's gonna be. I hate plastic wrap with a passion.
not obnoxious at all. There's the cutty thing that's at the bottom. Let's see, this. Let's see if I can do this. All right, that's crinkling up and. Let's try that again. 